Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So this is actually a long-term update on my quick lock chair. Um, my wife bought this for me in November of 2019. Now, it doesn't look anything like the pictures. Well, normally it's black uh, seat and black backrest, but, well, let's discuss this thing. So we originally got it for $100 on sale, regular $150. And it currently still selling at Long McQuaid these days for 200 bucks. Prices have gone up on everything as we know, especially with the pandemic hitting, everything went up in price. So um, now the reason we've recovered both pieces uh, is mainly because the seat part itself, it, it wore out. It got a bunch of cracks in the vinyl in here and um, it is still the best quality vinyl then. I don't know if they've changed it or not. Uh, it looks like from the, the photograph, they may have revised this chair a bit because uh, it has different colored um, pull latch buttons and it's got some sort of writing across the front of the seat now. Um, so they may have changed the vinyl material. I don't know for sure. I can't swear to that. But either way, um, the, the vinyl material that was on there at the time when these first came out um, didn't last for, for a long, long time. I mean, six months, eight months. Uh, it depends, of course, to how much you use it. Um, it could have to do with, you know, how much do you actually weigh, you know, physical weight. I don't know. Um, you know, it, it does support an awful lot of weight because back then I was about... Uh, back in 2019, I would have been somewhere around probably about 240 pounds. Um, last year, I went down to 173. And of course, you know, with everything else locking down on us and everything becoming a couch potato, I'm back up to 209. But, you know, um, back to work, you know, and uh, now I can lose my weight again and hopefully keep it off this time. However, um, that being said, this thing is fully adjustable. It has an extremely heavy duty steel frame to it. Uh, let me just get this off of here. So you can adjust the footrest right down to the very bottom, or you can pull it up to its highest point. And it's just a spring latch lock system, which is nice. It works great. Um, so you put it to your comfort level of how you want to sit with your instrument. Um, you know, and where you go and you got your foot rest. The one thing I didn't like about this thing is um, these tend to roll on the foot spot. So what I did is I pushed them in all the way and just put some Gorilla Tape on the ends to stop them from coming off on me. Um, the foot parts are fine. They, they don't move, but these, these tend to. So that was one thing that I don't know if they've improved that or not. I'd have to look at one. Um, the seat portion is the same idea. It's a pull system and you flip it into place. Now there's a lock key here that also goes underneath the next hole down below. Unless of course you're on the bottom, you're fine. But if you're up higher, then you would put this key into the hole down below. So this way, if you are a bit more of a heavier set person, uh, or even if you're not, but for some reason the, the latch you may have not have latched it in all the way and not really noticed. That's a great safety because it stops you from crashing down, right? So it's a good safety backup system. So I would say use it, you know? Um, now the seat, the back rest is the same thing. It goes right up to the very top here and it slides down, you know? So basically this for me is kind of comfy in this position. Uh, but if I want to have a little more of that backrest on my back to get me more, my posture more forward, I can do that. Uh, or if I want to kind of chill a little bit more, I could do that as well or sit away from it. But I, I kind of like to have it give me a little bit more back support because um, I do have a bit of a bad back in my lower side of my spine. And uh, this actually is a lifesaver for me. Um, I really love this chair. Um, I put it away in the garage, I guess, last fall, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it at the time. And uh, so recently I thought, well, I wouldn't mind putting it back into the studio again, but 
I don't like that ugly seat because it's all boogered up in the front here and it's not comfortable, especially with that material peeling. It can kind of catch your leg if you're wearing shorts, you know, so that would kind of suck. Um, <laughs> but um, the main foam material is really comfy and it always comes back to the same position all the time. So even if you're sitting on this for hours at a time, which you could, because it is pretty comfy, you know, I wouldn't recommend, you know, eight to ten hours straight every day, but, you know, it's overall, it is a very comfortable chair, so you could do several hours. Um, we got to, to talk, and I thought, you know, I said to the wife, I says, you know, maybe we should go to Fabricland and see if they have anything for musical kind of material. Of course, I was, uh, probably should have been thinking the word fabric land big bucks. And yeah, um, the material that I chose out is normally $26 a meter. And a meter is like, you know, around three-ish feet, you know. And, um, uh, but the lady says, it's 50% off right now. I'm like, oh, okay, so 13 bucks. I, all right, so we measured out a meter. Now, the way they have their material folded is, is, it's two halves together, so basically we get a grand total of about really six meters worth of material right but um, we still have material left over my wife's actually going to use that to make me a, um, a pillowcase for a cushion that we have for my other chair because I normally have a different chair in here that has no arms on it um, and uh, that chair is so uncomfortable on the butt like after about half an hour I'm done uh, I love this chair but I can't sit and play guitar in this chair but on this I can, on the other chair I can, and I, I really do like the other chair other than it's not comfortable on the bum. Um, so she's going to make me a custom um, musical thing to, to match this. But this has, like the, this has like the SG on here, it's got headphones, it's got you know, your, your uh, musical notes here, your clefts, it's got jazz, guitar, rock, music, tape cassettes, nostalgic. I'm nostalgic. I have drawers full of tape cassettes and a tape player because I love music from, you know, back in my day. You know, like I've been around since, well, a while, okay? Just, I'm not that old yet. But um, <laughs> let's just say I'm, um, I'm getting, I'm getting there. You know, I'm not technically under or over the hill completely, you know what I mean? Anyways, so I certainly don't act my age, that's for sure. I still feel like I'm 16 some days because I do act like it a lot. Growing up is overrated, come on. Anyways, um, but it has all the musical stuff I, I, I like on there, right? And I thought SGs and I got an SG, hey, perfect for me. It's even got that peace sign on there. It's got blues and rock and funk and so, for 13 bucks, you can recover it. Now, you're not going to get a perfect recover job because uh, this frontal area, we had to fold it over. So she actually sewed it here and over here uh, so that it would look more blended in because it was the only way to do it. The back and the sides were okay, but it's getting into that front piece with the curve. That was the, the bit of a pain on the butt there. The back uh, piece, it turned out actually... Um, a pretty much perfect. I think she only had, uh, yeah, just one spot here, a small one and a small one here. But we did take the old vinyl off first. That was a bit of a chore um, because there's a lot of staples. And make sure you have an Aero T50 staple gun um, with some staples that are, I don't know, I guess about 3 8 or uh, even half inch would do perfect. Um, but because uh, it is some pretty thick uh, material uh, to, to bang into uh, with the staple gun. So you're going to need a T50 and a, and a hammer too to just kind of tap the staples because the T50's got lots of power but not quite enough to fully sink them 100%. Uh, but you can you can pound her back together with staples and away you go. So it's all stapled in place. Um, and so this is going to do me for years now because this is material, right? And it's going to be more durable than that vinyl stuff. Um, but I like it because of the adjustability of the chair. It folds up rather easily too, so if you want portability, you can flip this up, you can kick her in at the back here, and then, well, 
we can carry it with you to a certain degree, I guess. Um, but it, it does make itself, you know, portable. You know, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, and it is heavy duty. It will hold quite a bit of weight. Like I said, I was about 240 something uh, when we got it, and I'm, I'm at 209 now, and it it hasn't budged. I've not bent anything. It's it's really stable. You know, so it is going to hold uh, a fair about a fair amount of weight. I don't know if they list on the website here. Um, actually, weight capacity 242 and a half pounds. So yeah, I was kind of pushing it, but I still didn't uh, bend anything. The actual weight of the chair, complete weight of that thing, um, is 24.4 pounds. Okay. Um, so anyhow, for 200 bucks. I probably wait until it's on sale. I'm not sure if $200 is worth it unless they've upgraded the material. Then I then I might say okay, then it's worth $200. If they've upgraded anything else, then I would say okay, sure, it might just be worth $200 now. But um, I'm looking at the blow up pictures here, and um, it's definitely the exact same footrest part here. That hasn't changed at all, other than a blue button. Um, it just says quick lock across the front, which it didn't on the original chair. Um, I don't know if that's the same original cheap vinyl um, or not. It's, it's, I would have to see one out of the box and I would know in an instant if it was the same uh, material. Now, the backrest part would, would probably take years and years to wear out on you because it's just your back going against it. It's the seat part. That's where the big thing is and where it creases and cracks and um, you know and there's there's nothing you can do about it. I mean you can't soften it. It's not leather, right? Um, so I would say I mean if you want my my long-term review score, my long-term review score I would definitely have to put this thing at least at um, I, I would say definitely a four out of five solid, um, you know, and that's that's based on the fact that I also paid a hundred bucks for it, regular one fifty. Um, it's now two hundred dollars. It may go on sale for a hundred and fifty, uh, which would be still, you know, I think a hundred and fifty bucks is still a good price. I mean, it is heavy gauge steel. It definitely held. You know, I was only within a couple of pounds of capacity and it had no issues with me, um, you know. Um, the Everything functions the way it should. Um, it is very much quite comfy. And it doesn't matter if you're like six feet tall or if you're like, you know, five foot three. You know, it, it's going to be good. Um, and if you want to go like to the lowest point here, get that safety out of there. If we go to the lowest point, um, you can sit with your feet, well I'm 5'9", I'm so I can sit with my feet flat on the floor, or I could just leave that down at its lowest point, and I'm still comfy, you know, it's just a matter of adjusting the backrest to, to where I want it, and I'm, and I'm fine, and it works great, so you sit here and brrrr, you know, or brrrr, because I play left and right handed, I can go either way, um, <laughs> but yeah. That, that's where I would definitely put this thing is a good solid four to five. Um, now, if it's not going to go on sale anytime soon at Long and McQuaid, um, check around the internet, see who else sells them. I'm, I'm sure in the States you can buy these things too. Um, but uh, I, I think that realistically, I would not pay more than 150 top dollar. Like, it is not worth more than 150 even if they've updated the material. I don't think it's worth more than $150, you know, that's just the thing. <coughs> so, um, but to each their own, it's up to you. If you really want it bad enough, you'll pay the extra couple of bucks and go to the 200, you know, or like I said, shop around. You never know. I don't even know if Amazon sells these things or not. Um, let's just take a quick look. Um, bum, bum, bum. Amazon, because that would be a good bargaining chip maybe with your music store. Uh, quick lock, Q U I K O C. Um, I'm 
I'm not seeing them on Amazon. Mm. Let's put the word chair in there. Ah, they do have them on Amazon. Well, okay, and ours is the model DX749, and Amazon wants $259. So, $60 more than Long Wick Way. Wow. Uh, Piley has one. Um, a cheap ripoff copy, and I would probably be scared to sit on it from the looks of the construction, so they want 200 for that one. So yeah, I would uh, I would definitely shop around as far as um, you know the internet pricing goes, but um, for to get the exact same model as this, um, you're looking at 260 bucks on Amazon. You're cheaper in Canada to go to Long McQuaid and pay 200 bucks. I mean, there's 102 four and a half average reviews on this thing um, for for this model, but. Uh, yeah, I'd never pay 260 so 102 people were a little bit insane for spending that money on Amazon.ca. Uh, especially at CA, because Canada means Long McQuaid has like 100 stores, and anybody could have gone into any Long McQuaid and gotten this thing for $60 and tax cheaper. But what do you do, right? Anyhow, that's all I got. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, you know where to leave them down below. Um, I'll put the uh, the link to Long McQuaid's website in the description of this video, uh, so that if you are looking for this chair, now you're not going to get it with the really cool cover like I got. Just keep that in mind, um, you know, because that's my stuff. Um, but if you're looking for this chair and that's something that would work for you, I've I've used this for playing on stage at, at the church playing guitar because like I said I've got a bad back so I have to sit mostly um, and I liked it there I like it in here and it's a great great chair um, and like I said it it can pack away almost into a corner for me if I need it out of my way it folds right up just kaboom you know too simple anyways that's it that's all and we'll see you on the next one ciao